Well, no child should have an empty stocking on Christmas morning. And Fran Engelbrecht joins us with how you can make sure that Southeast Texas kids have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate your inviting me back, Nicole. Absolutely. Now, first and foremost is not necessarily the people that w can give, but you really want to get the word out that, hey, we have these toys available, so you need to sign up. Exactly. And it's, it's important that you know about it this week because we will be at the Civic Center from 8.30 in the morning until 4 o'clock every afternoon, Monday through Thursday. This was our first day. So if, if, if you do not need our services, but you know a family, a young family with children 14 and under, who possibly we could help, we could serve, please share the information with them that they need to come down this week We'll be there until Thursday afternoon at 4, and you must be interviewed during this time in order to receive toys in December. All right, and so it's one brand new toy, one nice toy, but maybe not previously used, owned, previously <laughs> owned but, but in good condition, oh, yes. uh -huh. and a book. And a book, So, yes. you know, that's three different gifts yes, and, that you guys are giving away. And they're nice gifts. Our books are are well selected. They're mm -hmm. scholastic books and they're all age appropriate. And m many of the mothers are more interested in obtaining a book as mm -hmm. they are a toy. Absolutely. But uh, ours is the only organization who gives toys where the parent is allowed to come in and select the toy for their child. Wow. We don't pre select and just hand them to you and say, this is what you're getting. Yeah. You know. We want the parent to have some involvement. And so talk a little bit about the organization that you're representing and what you guys do in the community. Well, the Empty Stocking Fund first activity began in 1914 mm -hmm. when a reporter with the Enterprise, uh, with the Journal, I believe it was, mm -hmm. started a, a milk and ice fund just collecting money from the employees there at the Journal. And it has evolved into the Empty Stocking Fund Trust that's administered by the Beaumont Enterprise. And um, our group is called the Christmas Bureau. And we spend the money. The Enterprise collects <laughs> it from uh, donations that are, are obtained from Thanksgiving through the end of the year. Okay. And then we get a budget. And our group is a group of volunteers. There are about 20 of us. and. Our job is to obtain the toys, do the interviewing to determine eligibility to receive these toys okay. from the trust, and then to distribute them. Okay, and of course you guys are gonna be at the Civic Center. What do people need to bring with them? Oh, they must have proof of legal residency, a social security card, or a green card. And the green card is really a tax ID from the IRS. A photo ID, driver's license will do, a proof of address, any kind of utility bill, a birth certificate or social security card for each child, and a Medicare printout. We also need proof of income, a paycheck stub, uh, a receipt from TANF or SNAP, which is food stamps, SSI, unemployment, social security, so far, so forth, and mm -hmm. uh, housing subsidy. Okay, so Those lots of things, things that you need. need to bring with you. Oh yes, and we we really do need to see these documents. Absolutely. 